Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joseph Hughes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I have another Civil War book review to do. This book I'm going to review, Radical Sacrifice, The Rise and Ruin of Fitz John Porter, written by William Marvel, is a very good book. A very good book. Uh, William Marvel, as, as a writer, he is not what you would call a mainstream history writer. Now, that doesn't mean that he's a conspiracy theorist or he's on the fringes. Uh, he is a, he, he, his, his books are well-researched. I've read two or three of his books, and I actually have two or three more that I'm, I'm going to read. Uh, they're well-researched, they're well-written, and the history is good. The history is good. It's just not mainstream. There are two mainstream narratives in the American Civil War that have come down to us through the years, and, and these two mainstream narratives are reinforced by historians doing kind of a circular thing, quoting each other, quoting each other's books, and just reinforcing uh, narratives that are as true as they are false. There's some fiction in them, and there's some truth in them. Uh, the, this book right here is written from a northern perspective, uh, but it's not part of the mainstream northern narrative. The mainstream northern narrative is basically this. Abraham Lincoln is the Jesus figure. All of his decisions were good and proper, and Abraham Lincoln just couldn't find the right general. He had to go through six or seven generals before he finally found the right general, the right general who could do the arithmetic, who was Ulysses S. Grant, and once he found the right general, the war was won, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, he was a martyr, and now he's kind of a pseudo-religious Jesus figure in the northern narrative. And William Marvel doesn't tell from that narrative. He tells the history as it was, as it happened, without the mythology. Okay? Now this book, Radical Sacrifice, The Rise and Ruin of Fitz John Porter, is the story of Fitz John Porter. It's the story of the Union General you never heard of. It's the story of probably... In all likelihood, one of the best Union generals of the American Civil War, and you've never heard of him. And the reason you haven't heard of him is because he didn't fit into the correct narrative. He was George McClellan's top lieutenant. And with Fitz John Porter, you get a combination of, of George McClellan's organizational skills with a Union general who was actually a little bit aggressive a little bit more aggressive than his chief boss, George McClellan. Uh, and unfortunately, he was George McClellan's top lieutenant, which made him a target. And basically, Edwin M. Stanton and the Radical Republicans targeted this man, and they wound up destroying him, scapegoating him for the defeat at Second Bull Run. And this book chronicles... You know, Fitz John Porter's uh, career, it, fits, it, it chronicles uh, the, the, the Second Battle of Bull Run in particular, as well as, as the Peninsula Campaign, uh, but primarily the event that destroyed Fitz John Porter was the events of the, of the Battle of Second Bull Run and how he was scapegoated for uh, General John Pope's poor beh behavior and scapegoated for Abraham Lincoln's disastrous decision uh, to pull uh, George McClellan's army off of the peninsula. This, this is a great book. It chronicles those things. It chronicles Fitz John Porter's uh, quest to have his name restored, to be exonerated, to have the, rec the record corrected. And these things happened. He was exonerated. His name was restored. And, but he's the, he's the Union general you've never heard of. And the reason you haven't heard of him is because he was a rising star, but he was a George McClellan lieutenant. He was George McClellan's top man. And, and the Radical Republicans and Edwin M. Stanton just wanted to destroy George McClellan. And, they, and, and one of the things that they did to try to destroy George McClellan was to destroy his top lieutenant. So this is a great book. I recommend this to anyone. If you have come to the conclusion that some of these narratives uh, of the American Civil War are a little bit tainted, the northern narrative or the southern narrative or both of them, and actually they are tainted, 
Uh, and you want to know what really happened in the Civil War, and you want to get some information that you're not going to get from Ken Burns or Stephen Sears, this book is great for you. This is absolutely a wonderful book if you want to know what happened in the American Civil War, and I recommend it highly. So, uh, Radical Sacrifice, The Rise and Ruin of Fitz John Porter, the best Union general you never heard of. Uh, literally, he could have been the very best general in the United States Army, uh, but for him being scapegoated and destroyed by the Secretary of War and the Radical Republicans when they purged Union generals for political purposes. Anyway, this is a great book. I recommend you read it, uh, especially if you are questioning some of the things you're getting out of the mainstream history. Joseph Hughes, signing out.